Morning on the 1st of January. And, actually, and, and to you lot. Uh, so, right, Foodie Max, because you've been away at university, you've missed all the, all the all excitement, excitement. All the excitement of the Foodie Max, but you have got your, your nose pierced underneath as well. Like, look at that, oh my word. Um, so, with that in mind, you can't have any soup, just in case you sneeze and it goes out sideways. So, you're going to learn how to make a jacket potato. Funnily enough, and it's a staple uni meal. I, I, I know how to make them. But not in a foodie ninja. Well, real restaurant. vegetable stuff. Yeah. Although it's a tuba. A university. Mm -hmm. My God. Uh, no wonder they call you Toy Girl. So, okay, so what I'm going to show you how to make a proper right. one. And it's going to be the best one you ever have because it's been in the yeah, Foodie Max. Yeah, yeah. Partially. So, there's your spud. Lovely. Now, you need to spike it all over. Not quite so deep. <laughs> you only got to break the skin with a fork. Now, we've gone for a meat fork. So, it's got three prongs. So, it's easier to, to go in because it's got longer and fatter tines and only three of them so just like nicely all over i'm very scared of stabbing myself right is that nicely all spiked Spiked. right so there it is and you give it a wash now what you need is some oil so it's a nice cold pressed british rapeseed oil what you need is put the oil in and then you oh, need to like work it all over well pour it on and then do it with your hands it's probably easiest that's it. Keep going a little bit more. A little bit more. You need plenty on there. Start with that and then we'll see. Well, most of, most of yours going to go on your hands anyway, so. Mm -hmm. Make it all shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny potatoes of leather. Velvet Underground doesn't really work as a theme tune for Jack of Potatoes. Right, now, the next thing you're going to do is cover it in salt. So pop it down on the thing. You'll need to wash your hands. Oh, my word. Looking good. This is my daughter washing her hands, washing her hands, You're washing her hands. Out my hands. Oh man, yeah, my 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 um, foot fetishist German subscriber. I can't remember his name. He's gonna like love that. He's gonna love the hands. So you can put loads of salt on. More, 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 more. That's probably like a quarter of what you Are you trying to give me diabetes? Nope, I'm trying to stop you getting cramp. Cramp? Yeah. What you do is you just keep doing it on and then you just do it in your hands again like that. Oh, you see, it take all, it goes nice. all over. I know, it feels horrid. Right, I think that's enough salt. All right, so give it a good rub in. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start it off Right, this is an important bit. In a microwave, so you need more than one machine. So there's the microwave. Go, Russell. Now, put it on for 10 minutes. Right, that's going to ensure that it's massively well cooked. I think it needs more, so we'll spray it. You need more. More fat. Do the ends, do the ends. That's like the underarms if you were having a shower. So, close the old foodie, Max. Oh, That's it. Right, no, 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 no. Go on, roast. And then zip it up. Keep going. 220. Right. And hit. Yeah, not get down to 15. It's only going to take 10, probably. But if we leave it on 15. Okay. There we go, and there we go. Ta da! Ta da! It's your first Foodie Max yeah. thing. You need one of those for university. They're just amazing. I think they're great. That would be good. Okay, so it's just beeped to flip. Seven and a half minutes. So we now had eight minutes, and it's done. Look oh. at that. So let's switch it off there. Look at that. That's oh. so good. That is, that's crisp. Your so, hands off my jacket you want to get your knife, oh. cut it in half. You want to go cut on the middle bit. There's a knife out, a sharp knife there on the board. Okay. So go on the narrow bit, and then that gives you more for your filling area. Okay. That's it. Hang on, no, 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 right. Plus to me, and I'll show you what you do. Have you ruined my glorious jacket potato? So you get it. And then you've got to do this. And basically, you're going to make it a bit like mash. This is what they do in Istanbul. Not Constantinople. <laughs> there you go. And then that's done. That gives you a nice wide base for your filling. So you said you want a bit of butter. Good 
Bloody hell, you're really trying to get them the good fats, aren't you? you got to have a good fats so if you're having the butter. You got If you're going to have butter, have butter. Yeah, that's enough butter. Bloody you're hell. you having like margarine, rubbish like that. You've got to do that. And then, very important, you have to season it. The amount of salt in this. Not really. I mean, it's going to taste glorious, don't get me wrong. You're going to have that. So now that's going to have lots of flavour. Mm. And you push that and you need that melting push in before you put on your, your toppings. I might just have it like that. Ta-da! Looks you good. Could do. Mm. Thank you all.